But what if all isn't as it seems? What if the reality you found was false? A carefully constructed narrative by unseen special interests designed to manipulate your opinion. World, folks, it seems like it's always on the brink, and now even more than ever, with all these major strange stories that have come out within the last couple days. Uh, I'm just thinking to myself, Crazyville, really, pretty much at this point. I mean, you have this here, about 41% of the global population are under 24, and they're not exactly happy. They're a little bit angry. You have literally, I think it's like 8 or 10 different countries right now going through large-scale versions of these, okay? You have... Lebanon, Barcelona, Chile, HK here, Hong Kong, also many other places apparently. And it seems to be mostly people that are under 24. So clearly, and of course that ain't the that's not from countries like Europe in in Europe or America because we don't have kids, you know, so it doesn't really you know you, you see what I mean? It's from other countries. Places that actually have them, you know? And of course, we have a number of other things going on. We, we have this as well. Strange winds in Northern California. What is going on with California? What is going on there? I mean, they have to keep turning the power off for some strange reason. For all the things they did, years and for years and years and years, apparently don't work anymore. For some reason, we need to turn off the power when the wind gets high. Really strange, okay? I don't recall ever seeing this in any of the top stories, you know, the last decade or two decades or who knows, man, probably the last 50 or 100. This is a new thing. They keep turning off the power all the time. They keep having wind problems and all these strange, strange fires. Which, of course, I've covered a number of times on video already, showing these strange pulses from radar and Doppler. Just, it's like pulsing on the screen. And all of a sudden after that, you have one of these here. Really strange. But it is actually the case. I think I actually had some of that pulled up. I have a number of things pulled up here. I don't even know where it is. I had so many things open. <laughs> Um, I, I'll, maybe I can find it here. Let's see. I had so many things open. My goodness. Here it is. Here's, here's actually the latest. This is from Logic Before Authority. All right. He's showing these all the time. All right. I've already covered a number of times on video. Um, just showing some of this, you know, it's really strange. And there's more today. There's more today. Okay. And this is, this is, you know, you're thinking, oh, wasn't that a few days ago? No, it's still going. It's still going. I actually did a video a couple days ago, and uh, actually, it's still going. Okay, that's what this is. This is not old story. This isn't an old story. This is 34 minutes ago. Okay? <laughs> Some people may think it's like it. I thought that was a, like two, three days ago. No, it's still going. Okay, so that's what... Ed and Lorraine Warren were a husband-wife team of paranormal investigators. They're the most recognized paranormal investigators in history. They've investigated thousands of cases involving hauntings and possession. Ed Warren even recorded some of his paranormal encounters. In the following clip, Ed Warren provokes the entity haunting a house with the name of Jesus. I have to provoke it into some type of outward manifestation. And that was my point in doing that. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to reveal your identity. The reason the name of Jesus provokes the entities is because they're actually fallen angels who rebelled against God thousands of years ago. These fallen angels are now called devils or demons. The Warrens investigated many hauntings and cases of possession.
Their investigations are well known and even inspired a series of movies that's made over a billion dollars. Ed Warren was a self-taught demonologist and his wife, Lorraine, considered herself a psychic. They would go into houses that were experiencing hauntings and attempted to help them. During these investigations, the Warrens witnessed many strange experiences. In some hauntings, the demon terrorizing the house had the ability to manifest physical materials out of thin air. In the various cases, they had the material tested by a lab, and its physical makeup came back as blood, vomit, bile, and feces. The dogs are ready for bed. It's just a peaceful night here. Here I go to bed myself. What the f is that? What? Oh God! F partie des choses les plus extraordinaires qui vivent sur Terre aujourd'hui. Mais ça fait des millions d'années qu'il est là et on ne sait toujours pas vraiment ce que c'est. On ne sait pas vraiment si c'est un animal, si c'est un champignon, si c'est entre les deux. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is James, the throw with the impossible channel. Welcome back. Hope you're having a wonderful week. 